So, I found a new way you can hide your septum piercings. I discovered this one day while just messing around with piercings. So, this is a normal septum piercing, or you can have captive bead. Um, yeah. So, you flip them up, and you can kind of see, like, it inside your nose. So, if you're trying to hide it from your parents, or family members that don't approve of piercings, septum piercings, whatever. My family's okay with it, but I go to school for cosmetology, and we can't have our piercings in. And I'm sick of like having it like hang down on one side and see the ball, and people are just like, ugh. I'm just like, no, that's my septum piercing, guys. So yeah, what you can do is you can just take one of these. It's clear. It's pretty much a labret piercing, library, whatever, however you say it. Stud. 16 gauge, 14 gauge, whatever your septum piercing size is. Just pretty much put it in your nose and you can't see it at all. Just take it, put it in. You look weird. And you can't you can't see it. Nothing. You can't see it. So, family members, like, <clears throat> they could be looking at you or whatever, and they could see the shininess of the jewelry in your nose. And then, you know, you're caught. You were caught with your piercing. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this way if you just got your septum pierced. I mean... You could probably do it within like a week after getting done, like you can keep it flipped up normally. But I would wash your hands, clean the jewelry, and then put it in. But they can be tricky. You might have to actually put the ball on it or the little plastic donut thing to keep it in. Because if you were to press the side of the nose, it's going to pop out. So it's starting to pop out a little. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, and I, <laughs> I think, if you're going to get your septum pierced, I would do it professionally, I wouldn't have a friend do it, I wouldn't do it yourself at home, because there are so many diseases you can, con you can actually, like, pick up, you can get hepatitis, um, you know, just by not, yeah, so, I mean, if you're going to be, risky or rebel and do it yourself I would buy a sterile needle piercing needle you can get them on eBay um, body candy I mean they're not that expensive but get it yourself and make sure it's sterile or get it done professionally I mean if your parents don't approve I mean you could always try and see if one of your friends parents will bring you or even like I don't know I mean Seriously, don't do it yourself. I mean, there are veins in here, and if you were to not know how to pierce it and not know where to pierce it, there's actually cartilage like bone. Yeah, you can do some damage by piercing through that. I mean, you need to pierce the sweet spot, and that's like up here. But, yeah, I wouldn't pierce it yourself. That's like all my piercings are done professionally, except for my smiley piercing. We're being dumbass, and I had a sterile needle, and my friend was learning how to pierce, so, like, by real, piercer learning how to pierce, and she just pierced it, and then my ear piercing, except for my first holes, my cartilage, I did those myself because I have an ear gun, but I would not pierce something like that yourself, or your tongue, because <clears throat> if you're going to be a dumbass and pierce your tongue yourself, at least look at what jewelry you need to have. Alright, so this is what you need to have when you have your tongue pierced. See how long that is? That was in my tongue. This is what you can buy at the store. There's a big difference, and your tongue swells up. The size of, like, Russia. It is horrible. And you're going to have that swelling, and you're going to actually get an indent in your tongue, or even part of your tongue can split. Part of my tongue piercing is actually, um, scar tissue that's split. Because, um, yeah, my tongue was a bitch, and I had this in. But he decided to be mean and try and go over the ball. 
So yeah. Anyways, now I'm talking about tongue piercings. So yeah, that's an easier way to hide your septum piercing. I mean, you're not used to the normal flip it up, and it's more comfortable this way too. It's, just, it's not like two balls on your face and you like itch your nose. It's like oh, it's just this guy, except clear. I mean, you could probably also do like not like a pink color like this, but lighter, and put it up there because like you know, pink nose, or even black. But you might be able to see black. I think the best bet to go with is Claire, because black's a good You can probably see it. So, yeah. Hope this helps, and it's a little different. But, yeah. Yeah, bye.